And then I want to just hang out right here for a second. Good. 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 <laughs> everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canon Educator. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Obviously, we are not in Kansas anymore or in New York. We are in sunny, beautiful San Diego, California. So today is going to be day number two of working with the Roddy and the King Corso or Cane Corso, however you want to say it. And we're working more with dog reactivity today than we did yesterday. If you haven't watched day number one, click the link wherever it is above. And so today we're gonna to go out and we're actually gonna be around a bunch of dogs. Um, it's a Saturday, it's a beautiful day. There's gonna be a lot more dogs out today than there was yesterday. So today we're gonna to be more involved. We're gonna be walking past dogs. We're gonna be around just more dogs than we were yesterday. So I'm super excited to get to work. I appreciate you guys tuning in and here we go. There's a dog up here, older retriever. So you have to make sure like seeing that dog I would, I would be working on your healing and your stopping and going uh -huh. from here to there because you know that that dog's coming. So you wanna create that engagement before you get there. Because when they see it, they're in game mode. Right. I would be practicing. So why don't you practice all the way up? Another dog to your right. It's good. I think we're just continuing to figure out the dynamic and triggers, which is good. So let's, this little dog here, let's walk by. That was a good pop you had, um, perfect pop. I would be working on stop and goes. Um, so I wanna show you what that would look like in this environment. Okay. Um, so let me see here for a second. So I should wait here? Yeah, I just wanna show you, just to hang out right here. Heel. Good. Ah, ah. Good. So see how she, she walked forward? I popped her. Now watch what happens. In theory. Heel. Ah. Good. Heel. Heel. Good. So say you're the other dog, and you are. What I would do is walk forward. Ah, ah. Make sure she's paying attention to me verbally, physically before I approach the dog. Ah. Good girl. Sit. Heel. Good. Heel. Good. Heel. Good. Ah. Sit. Good girl. Okay, break. Good girl. Good. When I moved her forward and she passed me, when she passed me at that moment, that's, that could be a, an issue if there's another dog coming. So I gave her that quick pop to remind her what she's supposed to be doing, and then after that, she paid a lot more attention. So just that's the tune-up that I'm talking about, that right when you come out of the gate in the morning, give them a break, let them be dogs, maybe for five minutes, and then after that, tune them up to make sure that you're preparing them for the real test. And then break, and then tune up, and then break, and then tune up, and then break. The, the prong collar mechanics itself, so once she, because this doesn't, th these, aren't, these aren't sharp at all, so they, these don't hurt a dog. If you're here, they don't care. Like, look, she's like, hey, whatever, yay. Like, these, they don't do anything. What really corrects the dog and gets the dog's attention is, is, the, is the mechanism of the pop. Right. It's like boom, 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 yeah, you. So when she gets fully extended here, and you have to pull her, yeah. it doesn't, you're just pulling her. You might as well put her on a harness. Right. So making sure that you're really defined and clear with her that when you're turning, you're asking her to do something. Um, does that make sense? So let me show you really quick. So if you heel, good. Heel, good heel. Heel, and then if she doesn't, pop. Heel, good. And then ah, even a verbal, Whoa, like horse. Whoa, okay. Heel. Good. Heel. Good. 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 But do you see what I'm saying? So don't let her get to the end of the leash and just drag her along like this. Because it doesn't, because then when you actually need to get her attention, it's, it's so the boy who cried wolf thing. You're constantly dragging her around. You want those corrections, quality over quantity. 
So you want those corrections to be really defined, but at the same time, if you're constantly correcting, you're not doing it right. Why don't you just slide on the other side of these big metal weird things? And then just try to go into a sit here, guys. So we're just gonna put him in a sit. Good. And then just hang out right there. Just be nice and calm, make sure there's no pressure on the leashes. And as the dog passes and they do good, you just give them positive reinforcement. Good girl. Good, good, break, break. Good, okay, come back out. So that was good because you got curiosity. Remember we talked about yesterday is I think that you were being a little bit too um, attentive to like, you want complete disengagement. That was positive because what she was doing is instead of going like with her eyes, she, so, so what she did is she, she looked at, so you gotta look at the behavior, right? Just like a person. You can look at a person and go, that person's either like having a good day or they're not, right? And so body language is really big. Uh -huh. So with her, she saw the dog coming and she kinda, she kinda just used her nose and sniffed it out. She wasn't like, she, her, her attention didn't completely go negative, ears didn't pop up, her chest didn't go out. She didn't change her breathing at all. She was just like, hey, who's that? That was good. Cool. Lots of dogs today. Lots of dogs, which is good. The other thing that you could do, alternatively or combined with this, is just using, uh, like, adding something to the mix to make it um, more rewarding to the dog, such as food, treats. Um, the only reason why I stay away from food and treats and the initial, because this, so all of my out of state stuff is always crash course. So it's like, I want you guys to have the ability to do it. But in the future, if you were to, if you were to, to engage the dog with, with the handler, with some sort of reward based system to get them to focus on you, then that would also help uh, the, the whole process. Like getting them into a sit, uh, focusing them on you, and then paying them once the dog walked past. That's something that it's, um, I, I personally, that's like a, that's like a shortcut. Yeah. It's a cheat code. Yeah. Um, it works. It could be beneficial. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing it, but I just want to make sure that when I'm here and I spend a couple days with you guys that, oh crap, I forgot my treats. Right. You know what to do. Having the treats is just going to make it even easier than you guys already doing it just by yourselves. Yes, and I wanted to make sure I could do it with that. Correct, correct. Setting them up with the most success as possible. Okay. Because that, yeah, dog? Ooh, three. Here, let's roll over here. No pressure uh -huh. on the dogs, no obedience. Let's just see if we can make this a positive okay. process. And we'll just stay like, it's probably like the best area. Good, and then bring, bring, bring her out uh, over here. Not next to her, because I think if you get, the closer you next. get, yeah. yeah, the closer you get them, the more it's like fire and gasoline. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's watch the behavior. Yeah. So. So just hold, just hold. Leave it. Hold. Leave it. Good girl, leave it. Good girl, good girl. That was good, we'll, we'll go over. That was unfortunate timing of the train. But that's life, yeah. especially living here. She didn't even know so, yeah. so, I'm going to take that as a win because you saw more curiosity than anything. Okay. She was more like, hey, who's that? Who, who? There was no bark, growl. She didn't bounce at all. She was attentive, which could turn negative. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna be naive to say that that couldn't have never turned negative, yeah. but that was, that was positive more than anything. It wasn't. But the, what about, is the goal that I, if I wasn't holding the leash, she'd take off, or that doesn't matter? No, it wouldn't be that. So right now we're going through two different processes. It's a great question. Um, basically, in the future, we're gonna be more strict on the obedience. Okay. So like that process would have been, right now we're problem solving. Because yeah. we don't know exactly what we're dealing with. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to investigate the behavior a little bit more to see the stem. Where is it coming from? It, because I think right now, judging by what we're seeing, is that was a great encounter. You have two dogs that walk by. Neither of one of these guys freaked out. Yeah. You saw engagement, right which is natural. Um, why don't you bring her, just slide her down, and then here, switch. Cool. And then I want to just hang out right here for a second. Good. 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 <laughs>
Good. Yeah, so that was good. So, but it was good because here's why. Is it was that was awesome. It was awesome because what happened was is we got good like same thing. You get a Roddy, you get a Corso. They don't take crap from yeah. hardly anything, yeah. as you know. And so they were good, they were good. That dog goes, and, he, and she goes, nope. And then what she did, I don't know if you caught that, is she gave the other dog some feedback, but then looked directly at you. Oh, I didn't catch that. She went, she went, she went, hey, <laughs> like that. So let's, let's try this again. Come here, sweetie. Good girl. Good girl. Uh -uh. Leave it. Good girl. Hello. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Reward that. Good. Good. Break. Good. Good. So see her nose going? So she's she's more like if we were at my facility, I would be more inclined to put her in with another dog to play. Because she's more like Yeah, oh yeah. But when we talked about before about the um the stem, because that's my job here is okay. why is it happening? Mm -hmm. and, and that was all good because she, she's so interested in them now versus before. But when she reacted to that one dog that gave her guff, mm -hmm. she looked at you. She was almost like, it, was, it could have been a defensive, protective, yeah. showing off. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but that definitely had, you will we'll go back and be able to see it. Because okay. that's what she did. The, the dog growled, she came up and she looked at you and I, and I let her yeah. do it. Because I don't want to suppress the behavior because I want to see what the intentions are behind yeah. it. And there was no real, it was just like, the, it was like basically walking downtown Manhattan. Screw you, yeah, screw you, buddy. Yeah. That was it, <laughs> you know? And, and there, was, there was no seriousness to it. It was just like, you know, flipping each other the bird and keep going. Mm -hmm. But when she did that, she looked at you. Now this time when I came over with her, I kind of like took her, took her here and I was with her and she just used her nose and just scaled the air. It's beautiful.